How's it guys? Well, today is rather a fun day for my uh, channel. So last week I was looking for more filament during our lockdown period. It's very difficult for us to get uh, filament during this period. So I went online and I had a look and through one of my user groups, I found a place called Da Vinci Labs. So I ordered uh, two rolls of PLA through them. It was Easter weekend, so the product will only be delivered on Tuesday, will only be sent out for shipping. So I placed my order, I did my payment and thought nothing more of it. Then I got a WhatsApp message on my WhatsApp group um, and on their message, Alan from Da Vinci said to me, we've been watching your channel, we love your channel and we would like you to review a uh, box of Sane Smart TPU. So I thought to myself, well, what a great opportunity. Let me get that. I've been wanting to get some TPU through the Titan Extruder that I got. And uh, I thought, well, yeah, okay. So I said to him, please send, him, send it away. What color do you want? So I spoke to my daughter and I, she said emerald green would be lovely uh, because the first thing I would print is a phone case for my daughter. So I waited until Friday. It took a couple of days for it to get from Cape Town to Durban and it finally arrived. So this is the box that it came in. Okay, and this is Sane Smart TPU 3D uh, filament. So I was very excited about this. I opened it up and um, I got the the same smart TPU on the front here. You'll see that it's got the temperatures and settings. So I set my machine up and um, I got printing and I started printing and uh, well, these are the results. I must tell you that I set the temperature to around 205 degrees Celsius and um, then there was zero retraction. That is really important with TPU. You don't want any kind of retraction. As soon as you do a retraction, it clogs up the nozzle. So don't do retraction. Okay. Um, I also printed it very slowly. I wasn't going to take a chance of this. I wanted this to be perfect on the first attempt. So I took the uh, speed down to 30 millimeters per second uh, for all the infills and all that. And for the top and bottom layer was 15 millimeters per second. So it was a really slow print. And the print took six hours to run, which is quite a long time. Their website, if you go to their website, you can have a look and you can browse through what they sell. There. They sell 3D printer electronics and uh, 3D printers and lots of filament. I think the Da Vinci Lab PLA is stuff that they manufacture myself. I need to get clarification on that. I'll put that in the comment below once I find out more details about that. Uh, but right on the front page, here's the same smart TPU. So uh, let's go to have a look at that. So this is the TPU that they sent me. Uh, I'm so grateful that they sent this to me and they saw my channel and they showed interest in my channel. And this is what we're building the channel for is to get interest in it and get people to, to learn from the channel and uh, for me to do as many reviews as possible. Sometimes that is really difficult to do. So right now I urge you subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we have, the more people will send us stuff to review and we can carry on building this channel. So press the subscribe button down below. As you can see, it is growing, but still about 78% of my views are non-subscribers. So guys, subscribe, press the notification bell and uh, we'll continue trying to bring us the best uh, footage that we can bring you. So, so this is the phone cover. Now, if you look at the phone cover, it's got a little penguin at the bottom here for my daughter. She, she just loved that. So um, I specifically printed this phone cover for my daughter and you can see how flexible it actually is. It is beautifully flexible um, and strong. Let me find a strand here. You see, that is a strand. It, it takes a lot to pull that strand loose. I, I was so surprised. See that, I, I actually can't even break that. It's a small piece, I can't get a proper grip on it to break it off. It is surprisingly strong. So that was the first thing I printed and as you can see the penguin came out beautifully and uh, my daughter absolutely loves this phone case. It's going to protect her phone uh, for years to come and the print is strong, the walls are strong. I cannot break this, I cannot pry this off here. So then I thought well it'll be fun to print a vase in vase mode or vase mode as uh, Americans say. Look at look, 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 this. It is so crumply but it pops back to shape and it's strong. It is really, really strong. This is one layer thick. 
it is not multiple layers. This is one single layer of this, and the adhesion is phenomenal. I'm I'm absolutely amazed. Again, I printed this at uh, uh, 30 millimeters per second, and uh, at some places it was going at 15 millimeters per second, uh, and this took an hour to print, right? And this took six and a half hours. So yes, this was a long print, but it is so worth it. Look the way. It reflects the, the the light and the color of this. Obviously, as you know by now with me, I like to print on glass bottom. So the glass really made a beautiful, smooth, shiny surface at the bottom here. But in all, this is a very strong print and the and the colors are beautiful. Look at the way that shimmers. This is called emerald green. So guys, I just want to say thank you again to Da Vinci, Da Vinci Labs. Go check out their website. Go see what they're all about because uh, these kind of products that we're getting here are really exciting products. This printed on my Ender 3. Really good stuff. This is this is really impressive printing. And uh, guys, I want you to stay tuned to this channel. I'm bringing you a lot more that we're doing and uh, hopefully we're building this channel. And now that we're starting to get noticed, I can bring quality stuff. I can bring more printers, more equipment and uh, show you guys what we what we do here at Fusion Source. So guys, stay tuned and thank you. Remember to press that subscribe button. Click a like if you like this video. I also want to mention I got a complaint uh, on one of my other videos saying learn how to use a vernier. But that's all the person said. If you've got a criticism, please give me criticism. I'm more than welcome to criticism, but let me know what I did wrong and how to correct it so that I can learn to use these things properly. Um, I'm not an engineer. I'm a software developer, um, but I tinker with a lot of different things. So I'm a maker. So my, my Vernier skills might not be perfect, but let me know what the problem is. It'll help me, it'll help you, and it will, it will share this information across to you guys. So guys, Stay real, stay safe during this time. Uh, we are on our next two weeks of lockdown. We went from three uh, weeks and then another two weeks got added on. So we're on another two weeks of lockdown. We'll see what our president says. Uh, kudos to our government. Our government is handling this whole outbreak really well. So stay safe, uh, stay at home, uh, build things, do your maker stuff. There are companies that are delivering filaments and all this, especially in my country, there are, are countries that are delivering. So stay safe. Be good and uh, God bless you. Thank you. Bye.